The Gioni family is well known and respected throughout Europe for their successful export-import business. Her grandmother being from the Travers family, the founders of Tricell, has endowed Excella with quite a noble and storied lineage. Blessed with model-like beauty and raised in such an aristocratic family has led to being her haughty towards those around her, especially men. But it was neither Excella's looks or family background that got her to where she is today. Gifted with a keen intellect and inheriting her father's business acumen, Excella quickly breezed through school and enrolled in a university at a young age. There she majored in genetic engineering and her talents were recognized by her grandmother's family. With her connection, she was able to enter Tricell's pharmaceutical division at the age of 18. Although she was a gifted member of Tricell's founding family, she was still a Gioni, an offshoot of the famed Travis family, even with all the research teams at Tricell's disposable, so she was only given one. Excella viewed this as an act as a slight, viewed this act as a slight. While still feeling indignant over this affront, she was approached by Albert Wesker. Wesker's interest in Excella was piqued by her intelligence and character. It was at this time he provided her with all the information he had concerning the T-virus and other research. Excella was now armed with the tools to make the advances to her career that she desired. She used the information and technology she obtained from Wesker to advance Tricell's bioweapons division exponentially. In a fortunate turn for Tricell, Umbrella, who had previously dominated the bioweapons market, had gone bankrupt, greatly increasing Tricell's sway in this area. Thanks to Excella's efforts in expanding Tricell's market share, she was given more of a voice within the company. Before long, she was making key decisions that would affect the fortunes of the pharmaceutical division. This was precisely as Wesker had intended. Excella then set her sights on the position of CEO of the Tricell Africa division. Her adroit use of flattery and intimidation soon landed her that powerful, powerful position. It is now believed that it was Wesker who suggested Excella take over Tricell Africa. He exploited her romantic interest in him and was able to use both her and Tricell Africa to further his Ouroboros plan. Excella's first order of business was as Tricell Africa's CEO was to restore the abandoned Umbrella Africa research facility. As the facility where research on the progenitor virus had been carried out, its use in the completion of the Ouroboros plan was vital. Following the facility's restoration, Ricardo Irving was employed to sell bioweapons in order to secure funding for the research being carried out on the Ouroboros virus. As the Ouroboros plan neared completion, Excella began to fancy herself as the queen in the New World Order that would follow the plan's execu execution. Unfortunately for her, those dreams were dashed when the man that was to be her king injected her with the Ouroboros virus.